Let's talk about all of the things that you're doing that once were hard, that you do better now because you are playing the guitar. Your, your left hand was never as disabled as your right. Correct, yes. In guitar, you use your left hand to some degree more than your right. Is that correct? Well, you do, but you know, like, ideally you pick with your fingers, and I don't pick with my fingers. Cause do you I know how to finger pick? Yeah, you were just doing it, but is it hard for you to finger pick? Oh, that isn't finger picking. I'm, I'm picking that with one. Yes, one. But, but as you were saying that, you actually did do some finger picking. Oh, I see, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm moving each finger, but I'm not coordinating at all. Okay. I can't coordinate. But you have to remember, well, first you had to, did you have to relearn the chords that you use with your left hand? I had to relearn, yeah, a lot of that, yeah chords. And you also have to remember how the chords go together. You mean from one to the next? The, the music, you have to remember the melody, the, the chord progression. Right, well I wrote those, so that's, but you do have to remember them each time you do it. And um, that's one way it helps. This is a way that music, I believe, helps people. For instance, um, People who have had strokes that cannot walk, I'm told, can dance sometimes. Um, who cannot speak, can sing. Um, now here's something that I thought up. But say, for instance, you, you can't add. <laughs> Maybe you can add by musically somehow, um, or, or mathematics musically somehow, I don't know. But, um, you know, there's, what I've learned is that music affects many areas of your brain. Now, I just read yesterday that one guy from some hospital said uh, that music is in one portion of your brain, the same as your speech. But that's not what I read, and that's not what I believe. I believe that music does link many areas. Well, it, the, the process, it's not just a question of... of playing the music, I mean, hearing the music, you also have to operate your body and, you know, and exercise your nervous system. The neurons that connect your brain to your fingers have to work. Absolutely, um, yeah. While you're thinking, while you're remembering, um, all of it's connected. Um, I, I think it's one of the great neural, neural exercises. Um, how hard was it at the beginning versus how you're doing now? It was extremely difficult. First of all, the guitar I was using was such difficult to press the strings even down, and, and it hurt my fingers. And so I, though I can't feel as much in my body from my partial paralysis, it hurts still just even maybe more so, but it seems to be more so. Um, but yeah, so it, and, and to learn that was very difficult. Um, to learn how to coordinate different parts of your body and then just to play the guitar. And then when you want to put your singing in with the guitar, you know, and... Now you have to remember words, which is different than remembering chords. They use a different part of your brain. Um, and you also have to use your vocal cords. Um, did you ever have a trach or, or any damage to your vocal cords? Um, I didn't have a trach ever. Um, well, I imagine, you know, with the paralysis, it, I can feel the difference in my head and leg and arm. So I would guess, and I, oh, in my mouth too. Cause I lost taste. I lost of every sense, every sense built. And um, so my face, and uh, yeah, right here even. So I would guess, you know, things are different.